Charleston celebrates its 350th anniversary this year, and to commemorate that, Charleston Pirate Tours brings you Charleston History Highlights. Hi, I'm Eric with Charleston Pirate Tours. I'm downtown on Trad Street, specifically, I'm at 106 Trad Street. This is the home of Colonel John Stewart. Now, he was the Commissioner of Indian Affairs, but he was also a member of the Tory Party, which during the American Revolution were the Loyalists. And when the American Revolution broke out, Patriots took the property and he left out of here and ended up down in Georgia, but finally ended up down in Pensacola, Florida. And that's just one interesting thing about this house. Another one was something that happened here with a famous Patriot during the American Revolution. One evening there was a party that was hosted here at the house. In attendance was General Francis Marion, the man we call the Swamp Fox. Now, tradition was in those days, anytime someone threw a party, they would lock the doors so that no one could leave the house or the property where the party was taking place until everybody basically was knee walking drunk. That was tradition. Well now, except for General Marion, he was not a drinker. And so he sort of caught up now in this party, all these men in here, I'm sure were pretty much quite inebriated. And he wasn't real comfortable in the situation. So what did he do? He slipped upstairs and jumped out of one of the upper floor windows. And as a result, he broke his leg and as Jimmy Buffett would have put it, had to limp on back home. He actually went back to his plantation for a long recovery. Believe it or not, that was probably one of the best things that could have happened because it avoided his capture when the British took over Charlestown in May of 1780. Happy birthday, Charleston.